There are hundreds of moons in our solar system. This is Saturn's moon, Titan. It is 50% larger than the Earth's moon and 80% more massive. Temperatures here are frigid, ranging from about minus 292 degrees Fahrenheit. Titan is the only moon with a dense atmosphere and large bodies of liquid on its surface. However, liquid here is different from the Earth's waters. Liquid hydrocarbons fill the exotic seas and lakes on Titan, which cover almost 2% of the moon's surface. You can find three large seas on this world, all of which lie close to the moon's North Pole, surrounded by numerous smaller lakes in the Northern Hemisphere. Meanwhile, researchers have found only one large lake in the Southern Hemisphere. We know these liquid ethane and methane waters exist thanks to NASA's Cassini-Huygens mission. There are vast seas several hundred miles across and up to several hundred feet deep. You can also find smaller, shallower lakes with rounded edges and steep walls that are generally found in flat areas. The largest known body of liquid on the surface of Saturn's moon is Kraken Mare. It turns out this lake is larger than the Caspian Sea on Earth. So, Titan is more like a terrestrial planet. Similar to Earth, Saturn's moon has nitrogen-dominated atmospheres with a percentage of 95%. But unlike Earth, it has very little oxygen. In the atmosphere of Titan, you can find a reaction between nitrogen and methane, therefore producing a wide variety of organic materials. Researchers say that the heaviest materials fall to the surface. When these compounds reach the sea, some probably dissolve in the liquid methane. They arrive at the seas either by directly falling from the air in the form of rain or through Titan's rivers. The mysterious compounds, such as nitriles and benzene, sink to the seafloor. What about swimming, you may think? If you were to jump in any of the Titan seas, since there is very little gravity, you would fall very slowly. However, after splashing into the sea, you would sink to the bottom very fast. In Titan's lakes, your body would be much denser than the liquid methane you'd be attempting to swim in. You may have a bit of a problem with swimming on Titan. You'll probably need to have a special apparatus in order to fling enough of the thin fluid to move and reach the surface. An interesting fact is that since you are lighter and the air is denser, with large artificial wings, it might be possible to take off and fly. If you like this channel and want to support us, please subscribe and hit the bell icon.